I'm Amber. And I'm Carl. You might remember us from when we had our older son, Caden, dedicated a few years ago, but just in case you missed it, a brief recap. I grew up going to church, but it wasn't until college when I discovered a deep relationship with Jesus. I actually met Carl while attending the University of Montana. We started dating, and then upon uh, moving to Helena and getting engaged, I started dragging him to church with me. <laughs> Long story short, thanks to the grace of God and some wonderful people at the church we attended at the time, I started to realize that there's some things in life that I can't control and during those times I can turn to God and, and I was baptized a few months after we got married. Through our growth as parents, I feel like God has made us more patient and more loving and selfless, not just with our kids, but with everyone that we interact with. We really want to thank everyone at Narrate who's been a part of Caden's life and especially the, the awesome volunteers at the Narrate Kids Nursery. And now we're asking for your help again as we raise the newest member of our family, Weston James. I had a healthy pregnancy and a healthy delivery. Everything was pretty routine. But um, on our second night home from the hospital, we had the scare of our lives. It was Sunday, Valentine's Day, and our sweet boy, he stopped breathing in his sleep. I woke up and just felt the need to check on him. When I got to his crib, I could see he was turning blue. I started screaming for Carl and I called 911. Uh, by the time the paramedics got there, he was breathing again, but he was still so lifeless and lethargic. So they took him to the hospital and he was treated for dehydration and jaundice. Even though I spent a lot of time asking God why, I found myself praying and we constantly were thanking God thanking him that he was okay and that he gave us more time with our sweet little boy. And I honestly think that the whole event just grew my faith exponentially. It was just another reassurance that we can trust God and we can trust God with our kids. We just really wanna thank everyone at Narrate for the outpouring of love we received after we returned home from the hospital the second time. Whether it was meals, gifts, your prayers, you name it. We sure felt loved and appreciated and cared for. And we just feel so grateful that our boys get to grow up in this church, seeing the love of Christ demonstrated firsthand. So thank you guys for that. As we get ready to dedicate Weston this morning, there's a couple verses that came to mind. The first that I wanted to share was Jeremiah 29 11, which says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. The second verse is in James, fittingly, and I just think it speaks to what we went through those first few days with Weston, but it says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know the testing of your faith produces perseverance. So this parenting thing is pretty hard, so <laughs> we would appreciate your guys' prayers for us and for our sons and help us to raise them so that they know God and choose to follow Him.